I was going to switch to paper airplanes. I'm having fun with the dinosaurs. We're going to stick with that. See, I have a spike and I have a petri. So now we're going to go with a little foot or a brachiosaurus, which I'm not sure if that's actually what little foot is, but it's close enough. Or was spike a stegosaurus? I don't even know. I gotta go watch Land Before Time again. Anyways, okay, you're gonna fold in half once corner to corner. This isn't like before where we would unfold it, just for the crease, we're keeping it folded this time. Okay. Now you're gonna fold this corner to this corner and then fold back. You're just making a crease, so it's gonna just cut that in half right there. Or, that's actually a fourth of it. Math lesson. It's going to bisect it, there we go. And then in this half, you're going to fold from here, this crease you just made to this corner. So you're going to further bisect this line. So now you have a crease here, and here. So now you're going to fold in that farthest one right there. No, that wasn't supposed to be a crease. That was just a fold. So anyways, you're there. Fold from here to here. There's a lot of putting stuff in half in this one. So you're going to fold in. So now it's going to look like that. And now you're going to open all that up. Alright, once you've unrolled it, you're basically going to fold it all up again. But you're just going to go one way, and that's folding in from the outside, almost rolling it. And then you're going to stop here when this side is touching this crease you made earlier. So that this high point is a little on the inside, not on the corner. Then, you are going to fold this down on the back if you look there's this fold you're just going to go right from this top point here and down like that so that this line is equal to this edge ah, boy. blue helps sometimes it really does so then you're going to just fold in a little here for a tail and there you go you add an eye. This time it is not an angry eye. So, you know, that's nice. So yeah, it would be better with glue. Or tape. But there you go. Alright, last. Like, this is going to fit in five minutes. I'm trying to get here, though. For a reference. Alright, last, of course, if we're doing land before time, we need our sharp tooth. Alright. You're going to fold in half to make a crease and fold back. Not both ways, just one way. You're going to, again, fold up this corner so that this edge is along this crease. Fold up like that again. You're going to want to not fold from here, but make a little crease along this side, halfway. So just fold it just right on the edge. Ah, it would have been easier if they told us this earlier, but whatever. A little just like that so from there now you're gonna go from here to about here maybe about an inch or so from this point and you're going to fold that in you're going and you're going to fold that in so you will have this take each of these points and fold them from here so that this edge is meeting on the center line so just fold in like that now it will look like this. Now from here to about here, about halfway on this edge, you're going to fold that backwards. So now it will look like this. Then you're going to just fold in right here so it's straight along the bottom. Just fold in a little bit for a tail here. And then you're going to just fold backwards here a little so it's just straight down from this point. Then you add your details, and there you go. Possibly the cutest T-Rex ever, except for like the one in Dinosaur vs. Bedtime.